I've kind of gotten bored of my poisonous plant series. Let's talk about fucked up deep sea fish because I am obsessed with them. This is the loose jaw and fuck man, yeah, that that jaw sure is loose. Um very creative naming scheme we've got going on here. So the loose jaw is a type of dragonfish and it can be found pretty widely all around the world from the Arctic all the way down to the tropics. So they are very widespread. They can be found in very many places. So as a deep sea fish, it lives very deep in the sea. Who'd have thought? They tend to prefer um, elevation, not elevations, depths, that's the bitch, of between 500 to 1,000 meters down, which is pretty far. They are some of the species that can be found in the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth, but they're not at the bottom because that place is unfriendly to most things. Now, while these guys might look terrifying, they're not really. They very- they, they almost never come up to the surface if they do, they're dead, um, which is kind of how we know about them, but they- they stay at their relative depths basically their whole life, and they're also not that big. They- they don't exceed over a foot long, which may seem scary, but compared to other things in the ocean, that's not that bad. This is the loose jaw's jaw from a different angle. As you can see, it can basically detach from the rest of the body, which, yeah, that is one way to do things. Yeah, why not? So you would think a jaw like this would, um, I just got cat hair in my nose, um, would allow for eating some big ass prey, but they actually mostly eat zooplankton. So tiny little floating guys in the water, like mostly like copepods and like little stuff like that. So it kind of begs the question as to why they've got this uh, fucked up jaw structure, but that's just how they be doing it. Another interesting adaptation of this is that little red thing right under its eye is bioluminescent. So it basically works as a flashlight. Now. A lot of deep sea organisms are bioluminescent, but what's very interesting about these guys is that they produce red bioluminescence, which is very rare. There's only like two or three other species that produce red. Now, red is not a very common color deep sea. Red light has the longest wavelength, and that's what gets stopped first. Like, it penetrates the lowest. Like, it, it, it stops first. Like, violet light with the shortest wavelength gets the deepest, red light with the longest wavelength is the shallowest. That's how words work. That's what I was trying to say. So, red is a is very uncommon in the deep sea, and so most organisms don't even have the adaptations to be able to see red light. They are missing the, like, cones or rods or whatever in their eye that are responsible for seeing red light. So, this is a very good adaptation for these loose jaw fish because they can see red light, but their prey can't. So, they have a flashlight shining on their prey that to help them see, but the prey cannot see the flashlight, so they don't even know that the loose jaw is there. Which is absolutely fucking terrifying, in my opinion. But, super, super cool. So, yeah, I am absolutely enamored with deep sea weird fish. Expect more of these.